Access not denied. Accessible performances. Take one. Hello, I'm. Shh. Hello, I'm. Ke Shh. <sighs> Hello, I'm Kean. And. Shh. Hello, I'm Kean. Kean Binchy. We are Ankhvev Olarev and Diffiv Ankhvev. Not denied. Today, we are going to be discussing how theatres can be made more accessible during a performance for neurodivergent people like myself. Now, in this episode, we are going to be discussing the access needs that learning disabled, neurodivergent, autistic people would need in the theatre to see a show. The whole purpose of an accessible performance is so that us learning disabled, neurodivergent people can feel welcomed, we can feel tolerated and accepted and we don't have to walk on eggshells and we don't have to mask our disability. We can be ourselves in a less ableist and more friendly environment. This is highly important to me as a performer and also an audience member because I have been to see shows in the past where people have said to me, can you shut the f*** up and you're hurting my ears when I've reacted vocally to things. Familiarisation tools such as visual guides, content warnings and set visits are very crucial in this field. This will allow us to engage with confidence and with our boundaries respected. A good example of a set visit is back in 2018 we did a show entitled Madhouse We Exit and before the show we took the audience on a tour around all the rooms and they could see which rooms they wanted to go in and which rooms they didn't want to go in and an example of a visual guide is when we co-produced a punk cabaret show called Not F***ing Sorry, which contained sexually explicit content and some rather upsetting content as well. And it was highlighted in the programme so that people knew what to expect and people can make up their minds whether they want to see it or not. These accessible performances are often advertised as relaxed performances and often you would get at least one or two of them in the show's run. Here are some examples of things that are often essential for a accessible performance. Live caption, lighting warnings, sound warnings, ear defenders, meeting the actors before the performance, a breakout space, audience interaction warning, sign language interpreters, accessible booking and pay-as-you-can tickets and free tickets for carers. Now, I may have mentioned loads of things that we need for an accessible performance, but is there any that I've left out? Is there any that's really on your mind that you think is crucial? Let me know in the comments down below. Please do.